too early for this. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice slice right there, Joe. That's probably gonna require, oh, oh God. Well, bright and early on Thursday morning, Damien fell out of the truck. Feeling a little crazy today. I don't know if it's like a lack of sleep or I'm just anxious. I don't know what the hell it is. But regardless, it's time to get this day underway. And today is all about plumbing. Cool deal. I think that this is that connection that I need. All right, so today's all about plumbing in that kitchen. And we're going to get the garbage disposal installed. We're going to get, hopefully, the kitchen sink installed. Hopefully, we're just going to get all that plumbing squared away that's right there. And then be able to test everything. That's going to be the big thing. And so long as everything is good to go, we are going to be able to wrap up that kitchen today and maybe even some more. I don't think this plumbing is going to take all day. It could. But the game plan is to get an early start on it. That way, hopefully we can get all of that accomplished. It's Thursday again as I begin this, and the week is almost over. If we can get this kitchen done today, oh yeah, we've got it for the end of the week. So, enough chit chat, let's make this thing happen. I gotta pick up some things from the storage unit, and then head to Lowe's, then go get Damon, and then go get to work. Alrighty, just getting over to Flip House. I started this day at like seven o'clock, and it's now after eight o'clock, that we're just getting over here and that's because I just had to make a monster trip to Lowe's. No bullshit. Ah. And $500 later, we're ready to work on the kitchen sink. All right, so here's what we got, no bullshit. $480 is what all this costs. $100 for the garbage disposal. $130 for the for the faucet set. Look at them folks. They look like they're having so much fun using the faucet set. My God. The simpler times. Happier times when people got excited over water. I wonder if it's going to be that much fun trying to install this. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we also got some other things that added to our price. The shark bite clamp joints right here. This tool is $100 by itself. And Richard ran off with the one that I had. So I had to go buy a new one. And a bunch of other connections. Hey, that sink thing that was sold separately. There's that. And yeah, P-trap, shark bite, copper rings, all of that. All right, so here's the deal. First thing we're going to do is we are going to try to uncork these water lines and then we're going to try to put the i've got two different types of whatever these things are right here yeah the water supply knobs i guess so these are compression valves where you don't need this shark bite device and basically you just put that right over top of the pipe or right over top of the pex piping coming out of the wall, the red and the white right there. And then you screw it in and that tightens up over it. Now, if that doesn't work, then that's what this tool is gonna to come in handy for. It's my hope that I can take this tool right back today and just return it. I don't need it right this second, if, if this works. So we're gonna to try to get the water connected. Then we're gonna take off this uh, Fern Co. I, th I think it's Bill who told me, Joe, it's not called a clampy clamp, it's called a Fern Co. So shout out to Bill. Uh, we're going to take this off and try to re, 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 rework this plumbing to a certain degree. we got a lot of shit about to go on down here. Double sink drain, uh, drainage for a double sink, garbage disposal, water supply and drain coming in for our, our dishwasher. So yeah, a lot of stuff getting ready to take place. All right, nothing to do but to do it. Let's see if it works. Let's hope that this is not as hard as it potentially could be. All right, so we got our compression um, valve right here, and we're gonna try this out first. I watched a video on how this works. So basically, the, the PEX tubing goes into here. There's a brass ring in here. You slide it in, and as you tighten it, that brass ring is supposed to tighten some kind of a way, but like you take it out and put the ring over 
the pipe. But like I said, I got the shark bite just in case. All right, let's go ahead and take off our first thing. And I don't know how to even take this off. I would imagine this just pops out, right? Looks like it's doing that. Yeah, my got crimped up there. But you gotta cut it off. 10 till 9, and I've already made my second trip to Lowe's this morning. Had to get the power cord for the garbage disposal that is, of course, sold separately. Had to get this, the little thing to cut the PEX pipe with because there's no other way to do that other than to cut that off, it seems. So we got that, and then we got this little thing, uh, this bag of parts right here for the double sink connection. Hopefully this will be helpful, it probably won't be. So that's the first trip to Lowe's. Over, under, how many trips today do you think it's gonna be? All right, let's go ahead and cut this off. Hope we don't got a major water leak, which probably freaking will. Oh wow. Yep, burn you. You want a bucket? Yeah, looks like I'm gonna need one. Cool, nice little water leak already. All right, good deal. That guy leaves us really no room. And let's go ahead and cut the other one off and then we'll clean them both up together. It's gonna be a nice little water leak too. All right. Wow, that thing cuts like butter. Now that we got that, Go ahead and see how this is gonna work. So, bing bing. I don't have a lot of faith in this piece right here. All right. So supposedly, she slides on like so, I guess. Real quick to mention, the compression Valves don't like them. They're too much of a pain in the ass to mess with. I don't like them at all So I've got these other ones that are shark bite ones that should be easier to use And of course we got to use our hundred dollar shark bite tool So we put our shark bite thing on there like so put our valve in there And I guess we just clamp that <sighs> It's too early for this. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice slice right there, Joe. That's probably gonna require, uh, oh God. All right, well, I think we got that thing shark bit on there, did we? Yeah, I think we did. I got eight up right there on the countertop. Nice, nice. Yeah. If you ain't using the blood, sweat, and tears to do a house, what are you even doing? Yeah, I can, this is gonna be a sign of the way today is gonna go for sure. And um, that's always gonna hurt. Every time I bend my finger, that's always gonna hurt. Good deal, all right, well I think we got the first piece shark bit up there. Let's get the second one on there and then we'll see if we've got uh, no leaks. Oh, because the valve's open? Oh, maybe that's what the issue is. All right, so check it out. Bang, got our water lines hooked up and we've got no leaks whatsoever. We didn't have good hot water pressure, but we forgot we had the, the uh, spigot outside opened all the way up to drain these lines yesterday. Woo, there she goes. Yeah. All right, we're good. Good pressure. I still want to look underneath there, dude. So we're gonna test for leaks. We don't have any leaks here, and uh, good pressure on both sides. So I'm good with that. And he, uh, Damon's getting ready to go up underneath the house and check for leaks. And if we're good, we're gonna work on what's next, which is starting to get that sink in there and that garbage disposal and that double sink setup. So let's hope it goes well. 10.57 in the morning and here's what we've got. <laughs> so I know it doesn't look like much. We got the garbage disposal in. I got my little kit down here of little plumbing pieces and we, oh yeah, we also got the sink up top in. Now we haven't tested water or anything like that. We have tested the garbage disposal. She does work and 
she works that's good money so the biggest issue is trying to tie in two sinks to a p-trap to a garbage disposal and boy the cluster that this was it was almost like a a major word problem trying to figure out how to make this work but I'm sharing this with you guys right now because I think I figured it out I think I figured it out so let me go ahead and tie this all in hopefully I'll be able to tie all of this in I don't think I'm even gonna need to make another trip to Lowe's damn that's gonna be nice if I don't have to do that let me try to tie this in and see what happens oh boy 11:47 and spoke too soon I did have to go make another trip to Lowe's so I had to get some goof off for our hardware. I had to get a one and a half inch Fernco, one and a half to one and a quarter inch Fernco. And I had to get, where's that other? Oh, this thing right here. Had to get this sucker right here. So this is a three eighths, three eighths, three eighths for our water lines. We're gonna put our dishwasher to this. So I got everything that I think that I need. We are almost ready to test this water. Who's ready to not see any leaks at all? I know I am. Time is 12.07 and bang. Here's what we got. We got the sink. We got the garbage disposal. Ying. I learned all about plumber putty today. Plumber putty. Nice. And we go under. What has Joe done under here? Bang, garbage disposal right there. Running over to our second sink. Right there, P-trap right there. Boom, drains right back there. We got our water connected. We've got our dishwasher connected. Now, the real test. Will she float? Damn it, cut it on. And open up the uh, sink. going on? You gotta tighten one little thing up. All right, we got water. Let's see what happens. We also don't know how the plumbing is in the wall for the sink. We did have to snake it. All right, that's the right side. I'm gonna go to the left side now. Was it draining okay? Yeah, ain't nothing what? I ain't even seeing the first drop of water down here. Nothing. Any backups? No. Slow. Hey boy, holla at my, holla at Joe does stuff plumbing. Joe does stuff. Okay. Yeah, and we got that thing. Nice. A little bit of a pain in the ass because that thing's not um, self-fed. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any water down here. Nothing. Not a leak. Wait, wait, I do got a leak. I got one little leak right there. The right side's filling up. They got some leaking going on. All right. Where's that leaking from? Hold that. Let me figure that out because it's leaking good now. All right. Okay, she's leaking. She's leaking from this. This ain't sealed on good. I, I was a little funny about that right there. Okay, I should be able to fix that. Not too bad though. Damn. Yeah, but I'm worried about it backing up now. Because it did start backing up. Yeah, well that was only a little bit. Alright, let me um, undo this money and try to figure out. Because I don't feel like it's threading good. Well, you hear it. That's a dishwasher running right there. That's not a dishwasher not running nor leaking. Now, we 
don't know necessarily, we still got two water leaks. There's no doubt in my mind that we still got two leaks. And I need some plumber's tape, some pipe tape to, uh, to seal this up and get this right. So we got a bucket under here for right now. But we're testing the dishwasher that's working. And you guys can see that we have gotten pretty damn far with this kitchen installed. Now, dishwasher's not mounted, countertop's not mounted, hardware's not in, we still got more paint and you know touching up shit that we need to do on these on this kitchen to get this thing fully right. But yo, we are almost done with this sucker. So the plumbing is pretty much done minus those two leaks. That's not bad considering <laughs> we ain't never done that shit before. And that was a hell of a hell of a job to do. We're working on getting our drawers. We've only got two drawers in this entire house, so I don't know where you're gonna keep your silverware at. Maybe right here next to the refrigerator. Um, so somewhere here. And then check this out. Here is our end to our kitchen. These two exposed shelves. I don't particularly like these. That's level. I know it might not look like it's level, but uh, well, it could have been a cut hair. The top one's a little more level. Eh, they're, they're both pretty low. You know, they're, they're, they're close enough. You put a pencil up there, or you put a screw up there, it ain't going nowhere. So, good deal. Um, kitchen is almost done. It's late in the day. Man, it's been an ass busting day, I ain't gonna lie. This plumbing has been a lot. Damon's been working on hardware. I can't wait to show you the hardware that's going on these cabinets. We have recycled this entire old kitchen. And it was, I guess like some kind of a silver countertop, I mean, uh, knobs. Well, we just spray painted those black. So that's gonna look really good. It's gonna look really good. So it's close to the end of the day. And I'd say for a full day over here, we've been super productive. We've got a silicone sink in, we've got to mount the sink, we've got to mount the countertops, and then the kitchen is done. Minus touch up paint. And we're gonna be moving on to what tomorrow is, is really finalizing everything on the inside. Uh, got that little piece of trim in back there. We still got those T brackets, those T moldings we gotta put in. And uh, just a couple of things on the inside and then we're on the outside. Folks, another house just hit the market right down the street. 229, it's a bigger house, but damn it, man. I wanna hurry up and get this thing on the market. All right, we're gonna get close to wrapping it up. I'm gonna make sure we ain't got no water leaking up under here. And then tomorrow, woo! Oh shit, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do actually see a little drop of water right there. That is a drop of water. One single drop of water. Wait a minute, that's not, that's not even water, that's, that's oil. No. Well, that's weird. Damn, sure is oil. I think we're Gucci. I think we're good. How many trips do you make a load today? <laughs> oh yeah. I made six trips to Lowe's today. It was one of them type of days. Uh, the final trip, I don't know if I filmed when I got back, was longer ca uh, cabinet screws. Two and a half inch cabinet screws for our bottoms. I didn't feel like our bottoms were really getting in there. So we're gonna screw that money in real tight. Kitchen will be done tomorrow. Interior of the house should be done tomorrow, and if it's not, it'll be done on Saturday. And then by Sunday, hey, have this tub glazed Saturday. Our new sink will be in on Saturday. The faucet set for our bathroom, that'll be in on Saturday. And by Sunday, hey, you can list this. They can have it. <laughs> <laughs>